Science research is only important when it reaches out to the people. My name is Daniel Solis. Uh, I come from Mexico and my background is on physics, but now I'm doing a PhD in science communication at the University of Otago. The Center for Science Communication here is a worldwide recognized center and it is truly focused on science communication. When I contacted the department, uh, they told me about this project with the Dot World Center, where they were trying to find out if the science outreach they were doing was bearing fruit. And that was really enticing because I had two great uh, research centers working together, and not only them, there was a third party, the Otago Museum. So my project is about the science outreach done by the Dolwall Center at the Otago Museum and evaluated by the Center for Science Communication. The Science Center is a place where you can engage with science in a hands-on way. So, uh, the traditional way is just to read a book or have a lecturer telling you this, this, this and that. But here you can go and actually experience science. So here you can go and uh, use a slide that resembles the double helix of the DNA. Um, you can see butterflies like if you were in a tropical forest. You can use a prism to split light in, in different colors. Many different activities where you are truly involved. The ultimate goal of a science center is to help people to think critically and understand how science works. We have surveys before and after the visit, and after the visit I found that the number of right answers they get in factual information increases significantly and they also engage. For example, an 11-year-old uh, kid that approached to me to tell me it's amazing that the magnetic field is all around the Earth. Another one, only, only seven, said, how can I become a scientist? But not only them as a children. For example, a couple in their 80s, they didn't bring children. And she said, it's amazing. It's something completely different from what I usually see. And they went to the science show and they came back and, and added, you know, I'm getting older, but I still be amazed by these things. And she started talking about how older people should also have the opportunity to learn and how they should also engage with science and encourage younger generations to do the same. Evaluation is important because that's the only way we have to truly know that engagement and learning are happening at the Science Center and to what degree. This evaluation might be of help for other Science Centers worldwide when they are updating their exhibits. If they know which ones or why they are more success successful at teaching science, then they can choose the best ones to put in the new Science Center. My final message is that in 27 years of existence, this is the first time the Otago Museum's Science Center has been evaluated. And after more than one million visits, we can finally say that the outreach down there is touching lives in engagement and learning.